What's going on, everyone? It is the one and only Plumber Mike. And you guys who have been following me on YouTube for a while know exactly where I am right now. I am amongst a sea of condensers. I love condensers. They make me feel so happy and warm. But not when they're frozen. Look at that. Sorry about the zooming in there, guys. But on this service call, oh, I just want to show you the rest of the sea of condensers. There's condensers everywhere here. I love it, by the way. And we've worked on many in this building. We've got a few down there, too. Some over there. More over here. Gotta, you see our yellow stickers on a lot of them. But last week, we go to the service call uh, for a penthouse uh, tenant. And the system is partially frozen. They have both these units here. Um, looks like OSI put those in. So they have, uh, they have two systems for their, for their apartment. And it's partially frozen. And um, in any case, the thermostat was bad and she wanted one of our nicer White Rogers Series 80, so we put that in. And I saw the ice and I said, listen, you know, let the system stay off to keep the fan on, cool off. And we'll come back on Monday or Tuesday once it thaws out and let's, we'll determine why it froze up. Now, it could freeze up for a couple reasons. We could have a metering device issue where um, you know, we're restrictive on the, that inlet side of the metering device. You know, if it's a TXV or a piston, you know, you'll have high liquid pressure leaving and you'll have low suction pressure coming back to the condenser and that could cause it to freeze up. Um, or you could be low refrigerant, but there's one thing that I guess I neglected to do. Uh, while I was here last week, and that was to confirm that the system turned off. And I mean by system, I mean condenser. That one right there. So today is Tuesday. It is August, I think, 18th or 19th. I think it's 18th. And she called the office and said, listen, you know, Mike was here on Friday, and it's you know, and I showed her outside, uh, inside at the uh, the air handler. You know, the the, uh, the three quarter inch pipe going into the air handler while she's leaving the air handler, coming back to the condenser with a little bit of ice there. I said, "Listen, when this thaws out, right, let us know, and we'll come back and check it out." But this morning she called the office, and it was still it was still frozen. And I'm like, "All right, so we head out over here. We're, we're now we're back amongst the sea of condensers." And the thermostat is off, sure enough. And there's that chunk of ice on that air handler, on that three-quarter uh, copper going into the uh, air handler. Oh, we'll leave in the air handler, sorry. The, 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 the three, three quarter, sorry, the, the three-eighths is that's actually what's coming from the condenser going to the air handler. And the larger one, it's insulated, is leaving the air handler going back to the condenser. But it was frozen, so I'm like, damn, and the thermostat is off. You know, I checked, the I checked behind the thermostat, make sure my wiring wasn't messed up. And the, lo and behold, I come up here and I see, I already took off all the ice, but I see it's frozen. So what do I do? I just bang on the side of it, right? And what happened? The contactor was stuck, closed. So as soon as I banged on the condenser, the problem went away. The problem was condenser would not turn off. So, kind of odd since these were just installed last year. Can't, that's what the homeowner said at least. So, we're going to replace the contactor. And I am 90% positive. We're going to replace it any way you have to. Because that, that thing's stuck open. If it's stuck open once, it, it, it's suspect. Time for it to go. So, we're changing out that contactor right there. And more than likely, the problem is going to go away. What was probably happening was the system would turn off. The, the thermostat would be satisfied. It would turn off close, I'm sorry, open Y circuit, Y is cooling, 
Um, but because of the stuck contactor, the condenser stayed running. And you're not gonna have airflow inside, right? So the system will freeze up. And that's probably what happened here. So we're gonna change out this, this contactor that was def that's defective and it's st staying closed, right? Closed, circuit is closed, not open. Open is a broken circuit and the problem should go away. Hey, big shout out to Steven. He's coming up in the, in the world learning amongst the sea of condensers. And listen, if you enjoy this content, you watch my videos and uh, you haven't subscribed, just do me a solid and subscribe. Look at that beautiful view. Nothing better than that right there. Look over here, I hear this noise over here. Yeah, that one sounds kind of shitty. Surprise! This one's lasted so long. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please, please, can take a second and subscribe. Comment, thoughts, feedback, criticism. You know where to write them down in the comment section down below. We're gonna change out this contact. A piece of cake, easy peasy. Be on our way.